Oh! What? what is up? A fellow called Duty, elite game and stud muffin athletes. It's yours truly, the number one big stud muffin, balls deep only halfway in, big daddy himself, the ghost of eight, coming back with a fucking reckless abandon, boys. I'm coming with four noble drops off the top ropes. Oh yeah, I'm slapping into Slim Jims. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm back. I'm feeling better. I don't know if you saw my community post, but I'm ready to kick some ass, pound some ass, as long as it's females, or they identify as females, because I'm all about that equality. Kamala 2024. Pause, pause, pause. Not! We're going Trump 2024. I can see you not liking Trump, but if you're supporting Kamala, hit that dislike button, unsubscribe, and get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Are you even giving a shit about Black Ops 6 Bros at this point? Like, honestly, let me know in the comments down below. You're watching this. Tell me, are you going to buy the game? Are you even going to play the game? Are you hyped about the game? Personally, I'm pretty sad. I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm kind of bummed looking at all this information coming up about Black Ops 6 and how things used to be. I know it sounds like some boomer take. When I was a kid, a nickel could buy us a black person to clean up our own yard. Now, we have to give them a nickel for reparations. <laughs> Don't raise it! <laughs> Talking about the path and shit, but I really is truly a fact, man. Objectively, Call of Duty was so much better in the past, dude. Black Ops 6 is gonna be more of the same shit, but worse than Modern Warfare 3. And listen, bro, Call of Duty has been ruined by cheaters, by skill based matchmaking, by stupid ass TTV sweaty nerdy ass streamers who are cheating, that Activision allows them to cheat so it makes their game look good for their stupid fan base to publicize it, to advertise it, and try to get more people to buy the game under false pretense that the game's not some fucking cheater filled nonsense piece of junk. I mean, developers aren't even good at the game or can't even create an anti-cheat that works nor do they want it to work. Let's be honest. If you wanted to stop cheaters, I'm pretty sure you could find something that works a little bit better than what they got right now. But yeah, esports has ruined it as well. Social media and all these meta bullshit websites out here have ruined it where everybody just runs one gun. All these black kids with no dads in there playing Call of Duty like as if it's somehow going to justify their shitty existence. If you, if you don't fall in that category, I like it. Like Chris Rock said, I hate but I like black people. Unfortunately, 90% of black people are But Call of Duty is cooked. Call of Duty is washed. I mean, honestly, you know what? Make jokes, your ex defines dead, and you got blamed to with this LED Subaru Geeko Geico retard ex defiant fanboy dick sucking Mark Rubin up here, luck as if it's the greatest game ever. When he actually did say ex defiant spread in Black Ops 2, and you got him defending the game, and you got people saying Call of Duty is dead. And the point is this let's, let's just keep it real. Ex defiant is dead. Call of Duty is dead. Apex Legends is dead. Battlefield is dead. Almost all first-person shooters are dead. The finals is dead. No one wants to play these games anymore because of the previous reasons I mentioned. We're done with it. Call of Duty sucks. They were hyped for a little bit, then it drops. x Define was hyped, then it dropped. Because the developers and everything, like I just said, I mentioned, has led these franchises down a path of just garbage. It's just a garbage can. We took a path. We didn't go down the yellow brick road. We didn't find any kind of glory. We didn't find a pot of gold in the rainbow. All we found was a road that took us to a garbage fucking dump. And now we're stuck here trying to stifle through it like a bunch of third world degenerate <coughs> trying to make some money because, you know what, the first world countries out here are using us as slave labor, but then we got to try somehow make ourselves look virtuous and then, you know, donate to Black Lives Matter. Wait, what? What am I talking about? I don't know. But Call of Duty in the past was so much fun, so awesome, and what I'm looking at now makes me sad. Call of Duty in the past, we had the midnight release where it was so hyped. And I'm not even embarrassed to say this, but when I was younger, when I wasn't like a super young kid, so this is kind of embarrassing, but I'll be honest, I used to be so goddamn excited for midnight release. I remember trying to find an early edition of the game, scouring Facebook, Marketplace. Well, I don't think they had Marketplace back then. Scouring Craigslist, that's where we used to go. Craigslist to try to find somebody who stole or got an early copy from Best Buy or GameSpot or wherever the hell they got it, trying to meet up with them. I remember making videos in the past where I used to go meet up with people and film it and talk about the new game or going to midnight release with all the other nerd Call of Duty guys out there. Like, you know, hey, self-professed nerd here when it came to Call of Duty. I was so excited. I couldn't even sleep properly the night before. Couldn't wait. Or even they had midnight releases, you go and get the game and you'd be up till three or four in the morning playing it, and it's so amazing. It was on adrenaline and you're all excited. And I know this sounds like some dork shit, but I'm just being real with you. And I used to love that. Ha! <laughs> Gay! 
And then, like, you try to go to bed, you know, you get, like, three, four hours sleep, maybe five hours sleep, and you get so excited, you get back up, and you got to play the new Call of Duty because it was so hype shit. It was so fly, man. It was John Blaze, man. And then now everyone gets the digital. There's no midnight release. The games are so much the same for every other year, and the developers lack ability or creativity, and they don't know how to make a good game anymore, and the cheating, like I said, and the esports and all these sweats and nerds and TTV dickheads and people with no dads and smoke alarm batteries that go chirp that are just toxic losers trying to overcome their negative self feelings they have about themselves because their father abandoned them which is pretty deep that's a deep cut but it's a fact psychological ghost of eight keeping it real with you and what we have now is just a former shell of the greatness of what it used to be for a lot of things a lot of things but call of duty as it stands right now i'm not even hyped i don't even know what actual date i think it's october 25th i don't even know what day of the week that is back in the day i would have that shit marked on a calendar bro i'd be ready to party call of duty day and i ain't embarrassed to admit that i mean it's just how it is brother I was excited. I was excited, man. And I'm not excited anymore. And I haven't been for quite a while. More or less, probably since Black Ops 4 might have been the last game I got kind of pumped. I can't remember the last game where I went to a midnight release. But definitely since COVID, that shit died. So anyways, that's the evening video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Please stay in tune for some more amazing videos coming out. We're going to be rocking and rolling this month. we got Black Ops 6. I'll be making my reviews, giving you the real truth of the situation. No bullshit, no fluff. Not going to try to play both sides and joke around and just try to teach some lesson. None of that nonsense. You're going to get the real deal of Vander Holyfield coming at you. Mike Tyson, everyone's got a plan to get punched in the face. God bless you. God bless the Goldcock Army and all you guys supporting me. I appreciate you truly deeply. But last but not least, and most importantly, stay black. Question authority. And don't let the honky crack rip through shapes. If you're building me, it's hard for you to jail someone to judge them. Let me know if that's like you think. I'll still hail for the far skinned white man. Bring it down.